What's up guys, it's that time again. It's time to take a look at the official Android 11 based One UI 3.0 update status for Samsung devices. Now I actually do this video every single year basically telling you guys when to expect the update for your Samsung phone. But the difference this time around is that this update schedule is coming officially uh, from Samsung. Not only does it confirm which devices will get the One UI 3.0 update, it also confirms the eligibility for three year long software update which Samsung just announced uh, with their Galaxy Note 20 Unpacked event. Now as always, we're gonna start this video with a bit of a sad touch because uh, some phones won't be getting updates at all. Uh, Samsung is finally killing the Galaxy S9 slash Note 9 series. So if you have a Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Note 9 phone. The Android 11 update won't be coming to these phones. Android 10 based on One UI 2.5 marks the end of software updates for these phones. From now on, you're only gonna get the security updates. So with that out of the way, let's talk about which devices are getting the update and also at the same time they are eligible for three years of software update. Three years of software update means that whatever software that your phone was running out of the box, you will get three software updates on top of it. For example, the S20 devices, it came with Android 10 that means it will go all the way up to Android 13. But if you're someone who's using the Samsung Galaxy S10 series phone, uh, whether it's S10e or S10 Plus, S10 Lite, or even the Note 10 series, because these devices came with the Android 9.0 Pi out of the box, you'll get updates up to Android 12. So as always, the latest update will first arrive on the best of Galaxy S lineup, which is the S20 series. Samsung already has the developer beta coming on, and the public beta is right around the corner. The S20 devices includes the standard S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, and the newest and the greatest Galaxy S20 FE. Now after the flagship Galaxy S series, then the update will move towards the absolute best phone from Samsung right now, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Note 20, the standard Note 20, which no one buys. After that, most likely the update will move towards the S10 series, which includes the S10 Plus, standard S10, S10e, S10 Plus 5G, and even the Galaxy S10 Lite. Again, in a similar fashion, the update will then move to the Note 10 lineup that includes the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Lite, and the standard Note 10. Now once Samsung is done with the flagship S and Note lineup, the update will move towards the Galaxy foldable devices. Now, last time Samsung took a lot of time to bring the update for the Galaxy uh, Fold 1. It is expected that this time the update schedule will be a lot better. Uh, so do expect some good treatment for the foldable devices. Of course, Samsung has to optimize the whole UI uh, for the Fold 2 and the Fold 1, especially because they are so different from your normal traditional smartphone uh, but I do feel like the Z Flip 5G will get the update almost right on time as the other standard phones so after the foldable devices Samsung will definitely move towards the next awesome thing that is the Galaxy A lineup now not all the Galaxy A phones will receive the update unfortunately and uh, also not all Galaxy A phones are eligible for three years of software update so the first device in the Galaxy A series includes the A71 then the A71 5G then we have the A51 the best-selling Android phone globally and then the A51 5G as for last year's Galaxy A series Samsung is only selecting the A90 5G which has a really good Good, uh, Snapdragon 855 plus chip and of course it supports 5G so it is eligible for three years of software update. Now once again these were the phones that will get update as well as be eligible for three years of software update. If you're rocking the Galaxy A31 or A21 uh, or any other older phone Samsung is very likely to bring the Android 11 update uh, but we don't know when that will happen. Obviously it's gonna be on the list of less priorities first it will come to other devices but I do believe at least one major update will come uh, to A31, A21s, all these other uh, Galaxy A phones that don't have very strong uh, processor to support three years of software update. Now once we are done with the flagships and the normal smartphones and then foldable phones and Galaxy A series, Samsung will bring the updates to the tablets that includes the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus uh, 5G, then the Tab S7 Plus standard, standard Tab S7, Tab S7 5G. As for the last year devices, we have the Tab S6 5G, Tab S6, 
6 and Tab S6 Lite. Now once again, these were the existing devices, all the upcoming Galaxy Z series, upcoming Galaxy S or even some Galaxy A models, they will be completely eligible to receive 3 year long software update. So that's it for this video, these were the phones to receive the update, again when the update exactly arrives, it's gonna depend on market and of course carrier, all that stuff, do keep that in mind. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I did a separate video on the Android 11 based One UI 3.0 on the S20 Ultra, uh, basically showing off what the early changes are, so if you want to see that video, it will be linked in the description. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.